All right, um, so we're doing this off of design. So um, the Cosmopolitan, I think is, um, I like the design of the Cosmopolitan. It's sleek and it's modern. Um, it doesn't overdo itself. It doesn't try to be wacky or anything. Nice and modern, um, but I think it's not my most favorite casino design theme. So I think I'm gonna put you in a solid, a solid B. Control plus. Okay, I guess I can do that. Oh, what the? Okay, we're gonna zoom in here. Okay, sweet. So um, this is okay. This is the Mirage, which I have not built yet. Um, it always seems to have the beetles on the outside. Um, nothing against the Mirage, um, but I think it's kind of basic. Um, I think the Mirage deserves a, a C in the tier list. Um, not the best, not the worst, just kind of average there in the middle. Treasure Island. Um, haven't built Treasure Island yet, but I really like the vibe of Treasure Island. I think the whole pirate tropical vibe is kind of cool, just like Mandalay Bay. Um, but um, the pirate vibe is pretty cool, and I like the mountain that they have in the front. And uh, it's really Las Vegasy. So, um, yeah, I think that Treasure Island. Um, I think Treasure Island is gonna have to go either A or B tier. Um, I think we'll just go with A tier and we'll call it good. All right, Planet Hollywood is up next. Um, I think Planet Hollywood. Um, the issue that I think I have with Planet Hollywood is that it doesn't have like, um, I guess it has a theme of like being Hollywood themed, um, but like the building itself doesn't look like special in, in any way. It's not really memorable. It's just a building with a few uh, little bits and bobs on it, um, and it's got a bunch of screens uh, all over it, and that's pretty much the theme, which is, uh, I mean, it's all right. But I think I'm going to give Planet Hollywood a C tier based on the design. Uh, although I do like that big corner uh, screen with all the ads on it and stuff. Um, but I think I'm going to keep it in C tier. Um, now we got Caesar's Palace, which is pretty cool. Uh, good theming. It's got the Gordon Ramsay restaurant. Um, what, what, what was that called? Um, what's the Gordon Ramsay restaurant called? Um, Hell's Kitchen. We got Hell's Kitchen there. Um, I like the theme of it. It's uh, it's grand and it's um, one of the first casinos I think people think of when they think of Las Vegas. So I think Caesar's Palace is going to go up there with A tier. Um, pretty good, pretty good. The win. Um, I don't really know what the theme of the win is. Um, but uh, yeah, it seems pretty average. Nothing too special about it. It's got a big golf course I think I know. Um, that I've seen on Google Earth, but um, other than that, I don't think it's too special or anything. So I'm gonna give it an average C tier. Uh, the Flamingo. Um, Flamingo, again, nothing too special about it, um, but it does have that big back area with like a bunch of walkways, and it has actual flamingos uh, that you can go out and look at that I've seen, and the, the pool looks pretty cool in the Flamingo. Um, but um, the design of the actual building itself isn't anything really crazy or special. But because of the outdoor area uh, in the back, I'm going to give it a B tier just because of that. Uh, it's really cool. But um, the actual design of the building, I think, is holding it back from being up in the A tier. Um, all right, next one here. Uh, what is that? I don't even know what I'm looking at there. What is that? Let me zoom in here on this one because I don't even know what this is. Haraz? Is that Haraz? I think it says Haraz. Um, Alright. Um, um, I have really have no idea um, what goes on in Haraz. Not really um, memorable or anything in any way. Um, I'm going to give it... Psh, I think I'm going to have to give it a D tier. If I'm being honest, it's not very memorable. There's nothing really special going on with it. 
So yeah, our first D tier is going to be Haraz. The Link, uh, I gotta go the same thing. The Link isn't very memorable. Um, nothing too crazy about it. It kind of just looks like a copy of the Cosmopolitan. Um, it's one of the probably casinos that people don't even think about when they think of Las Vegas, so it's not really memorable at all. Um, so it's going to go in D tier as well. Uh, okay, we got Trump Tower. Um, not even on the strip. It's off the strip a little bit. Um, it doesn't have a theme. It doesn't have a... Um, it doesn't have anything going for itself other than it's owned by Trump. And it's big in gold. Um, but you know what? I think the design... Uh, it's just a big old tall tower. Uh, I think it honestly looks pretty cool. Um, it's not the typical Vegas... Uh, crazy like cool looking thing, but it does look modern and um, I kind of like the design of it um, And it's not too crazy or going uh, over with anything So I'm not gonna give it to I'm not gonna give it like a or B tier I'm gonna put it in the C tier, but um, it's not gonna be down here just because I like the design of it All right Mandalay Bay. I really like Mandalay Bay uh, from what I've seen. I haven't built it yet, but for Mandalay Bay um, I think um, the outdoor area looks really, really cool, and I really like the vibe of the tropical stuff. Um, it's like Treasure Island, but minus the pirates, I think. So it's just like a Caribbean uh, sort of style casino, and um, I really like the vibe. So I think Mandalay Bay is going to have to go nowhere else than S tier. That's right. Mandalay Bay is going up there. Uh, circus Circus. Um, nothing much needs to be said about this uh, casino. Uh, other than going in the F tier, and we're gonna move on. Um, looks like we got the Strat Hotel. Um, the only thing it has going for it is the big old tower, which, uh, to be fair, is pretty cool. Um, but other than that, I don't think there's anything really going on with it. Um, other than the big like roller coaster on top or whatever the thing is that goes off the side. Um, so I think the Strat is going to be in the mid tier with C tier um, just like that and then we're gonna move on to this one which I can't see what that is so we're gonna have to move in here and what is that Tropicana that is the Tropicana okay um, Tropicana from what I've seen uh, isn't anything crazy and um, the design looks kind of old I think uh, it kind of looks modernized right here actually but from what I've seen on Google Earth it's pretty uh, it's pretty old looking and it doesn't look very uh, interesting at all. So just from what I've seen, I'm going to have to give it a D tier because um, it looks uh, a little odd. Um, but yeah, here we go. We got the Luxor next. Pretty iconic. Uh, one of the first ones that you think of when you uh, think about Las Vegas. It's got the big old pyramid. Uh, it's got the Sphinx. It's got everything you could think of. Um, I think it's an interesting design, uh, but it's probably not the first thing that I would think of uh, if I was thinking of building a casino. It's definitely unique though, um, but it's not going to go up at S tier with Mandalay Bay, but I will put it at A tier because the design is really interesting and uh, it's also really iconic. So um, they put a modern addition to Tropicana like 10 years ago. Oh, alright. Well, I'm keeping it in D tier because uh, I'm a man of my word. Um, all right, we got Excalibur next. How do I know the names of all these casinos? I need to chill out with my Vegas uh, But whatever we got Excalibur the castle themed medieval themed um, This is not a one another one of those um, Relatively famous ones. Um, I don't think it's the most famous like it's not up there with the Luxor, but it's pretty famous um, It's got a unique design. It's pretty simple. It doesn't overdo itself, but it's also um, got the nice theme uh, going all the way throughout it and I think this is a solid uh, I'm gonna give it a B tier uh, right there because it's not too crazy um, the design is simple so I don't think it belongs in A tier um, but it's also you know got its own thing going for it where I think it's above uh, all these C tier ones so here we go MGM Grand another one I also haven't built yet but I think MGM Grand is in the same boat as Planet Hollywood uh, where it doesn't really have a theme, um, it's just grand, the theme is it's grand and it's MGM, um, so I don't really know what the theme is for MGM Grand, so I don't really know what's going on there, plus the building is a little odd, um, it looks a little goofy, if I'm gonna be 100% honest with you, 
Um, the only reason I'm not going to put this in D tier is because the pool, if you've seen the pool, it's got a it's got a lazy river and it's got a really big pool in the back area, which is uh, looks pretty cool. So that's the only reason I'm giving MGM Grand a C tier. Now we got New York, New York. Um, New York, New York. What am I going to say about New York, New York? I think that it is a really interesting place. It's got some really cool recreations. It's got the Statue of Liberty, the Empire State Building. It's got all these uh, cool vibes to it. And it also has a roller coaster. And I like the overall vibe of it. Um, it kind of sets itself apart from all the other Vegas uh, resorts. Um, in that it's actually like a, its own unique thing. Um, kind of recreating something. Uh, I guess also Paris does that too. But I think I like the vibe of New York, New York, and also the, ro also the roller coaster and stuff like that. So I'm going to put that in B tier. And uh-oh, Crazy MC's data is nearly gone. we got to finish this up. Uh, next up here, we got the Aria. None other than the Aria that we're building right now. And I'm guessing this includes all the other ones like the Vidara. V Vidara. Because um, I don't see that here on the list. So I'm going to include that. The whole campus. Um, honestly, I think this is a very very cool uh very cool um casino it looks sleek it looks modern it's got all the things going for it the pool looks pretty cool um uh, as you guys have seen it's got a bunch of intricate designs and stuff it looks super modern and sleek and um i think it's one of the best casinos on the strip so aria is also going to be another s tier um just right up there um next we got the bellagio uh possibly the most recognizable the most famous casino on the strip um, other than its mediterranean style which is probably my favorite style um, along with like the tropical vibes with mandalay bay uh, it's got that mediterranean style with all the buildings it's got the massive lake with the giant uh fountains and the water features on it um and yeah, the pool is also really cool in the back. Um, so, uh, also the Bellagio is going to be another S tier uh, casino right up there. Um, we got Paris, Las Vegas. We got two more here. Paris, Las Vegas. Um, another iconic uh, casino. It's got the Eiffel Tower right there. It's got the Arc de Triomphe on the side there. Um, just those two things alone give it some pretty good points. It's also got the Paris balloon right there. Um, and the vibe it gives is pretty cool. It's just the, the Paris theme uh, throughout is really nice, I think. And um, yeah, I think this is going to... I don't think this gets an S tier uh, quite. It's not up there with all those ones. Um, but I think this does definitely deserve A tier right there. And the final one here, the Venetian. Um, I haven't built a Venetian yet. I don't know much about the Venetian. Um, I, I'm not sure how memorable it is. Because uh, I haven't looked up at that part of the strip yet. Um, it might be memorable. I've heard a lot about it, but um, I haven't looked into it myself. So I don't really have much to say about this. Um, other than I guess it looks alright. It looks nice. Um, so I think I'm going to give this one a solid... Um, I'm going to have to give this a C tier. Just because I haven't uh, looked into it that much. Um, but uh, the Venetian is pretty dope. Alright, I'll give it up to B. I'll move it up to B. Um, so yeah, there is, I think that's the list that I'm going to, uh, go with and, um, there we go. Um, Circus Circus is the only one down here, um, where it belongs. And then we got Mandalay Bay, the Aria and the Bellagio up at S tier and then all these in between here. So, uh, yeah, let's see how, uh, it aligns with everyone else. Um, what is this? Add text. Oh, this is the alignment chart. Okay, let's go back. Uh, what was it? The community rank. There we go. What did the community say? The community says the the Bellagio is S tier. Uh, the win. The win is S tier. They put Circus Circus and the Luxor in the same uh, in the same tier for some odd reason. Uh, don't know what's going on there. Um, Where they put Mandalay Bay? Mandalay Bay is B tier. <laughs> what the? All right, they put the Flamingo and Haraz in F tier. What a joke that is. They clearly haven't built Las Vegas Strip 1 to 1 in Minecraft before because they don't know what they're talking about. All right, we did it. We did it, folks. And oh, the video's done.